Do you have a sort of Twilight Zoney or other spooky story of something that's had to, uh, that's happened to you? Uh, we've had we always like to ask people just if there's something, whether it's a ghost story or a UFO or a weird serendipitous encounter, anything that makes you look to the skies and go, man, maybe we're in a simulation or something special is going on. You know, the only thing that comes to mind is I have seen a UFO. I haven't seen a Sasquatch, but I have seen a UFO. And I think it may have been the biggest mass UFO sighting in history. It was the Phoenix Lights in the 90s. And I different people saw different things on that night. But what I saw was this. I saw a giant aircraft, that, like the size of like an Imperial Star Destroyer, but with no lights on it, but so big that it blocked out the stars and you could make the shape out of it. It was shaped as a gigantic oval moving at low altitude over Tempe, Arizona, uh, and completely silent. And, you know, thousands of people saw it. Some people saw that. Some people saw little lights that were moving in very strange ways that night. But when the government came out, like, two days later, it was, like, literally it was a story that was at the level of, like, weather balloons or some it was It was just, like, bullshit, <laughs> you know? What I saw was way too big. That's a big balloon. <laughs> yeah, what you're trying to explain is the way it is. What, what is it? What was it? I don't know. But it definitely, like, I, you know, I, my thing on Sasquatch is, like, hey, you know, I, I'm going to be agnostic until I see one, okay? And the fact that I've spent a lot of time in the woods in Alaska, which is supposedly Sasquatch territory, in Northern California, and Oregon, and I've never seen any sign of them. I kind of tend toward to doubt their existence. I don't feel the same way about UFOs. I don't know what that was. I would buy that it was a military aircraft. 